Visit ASTLessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hi, so this is Robert from AST Lessons, and today I will teach you how to play B OK with Ingram Michelson. For this tutorial, I will stay in regular tuning, but to get the same key as the original, you have to tune it down a half step. So later on, if you need help with tuning, I've added an extra scene for that. And also, since some things is a bit advanced, I also added a part with tips to make it easier. Alright, so let's begin by looking at the chords. First, an F. After that, a G. The next is a B flat, which for this song. I play like this. But you can also play it like this. Or this. And then for the courses, we also have an A. And a C, which I play like this. But you can also use the ring finger. Now for the strumming, we mostly play number one, that fast sounds like this. So the hand keeps moving up and down, but we skip the down strum on the three. And then we add muffling on one, two and four, which is probably the trickiest thing in the song. So slowly it sounds like this. On the muffling that some call shocking or even muting, we simply put the hand over the strings at the same time we strum. And I do it with this part right here. So the technique in itself is quite easy, but it does take some time to get it synced and feeling natural. On the LC Plus paper for this song, it tells you how many rounds you play in each chord. And the ones without numbers is played for one round. Then later on in chorus 3, I've also underlined where you strum once and let it ring. And the only part that's not properly labeled on this paper is the bridge, which I will explain in part 9. And then on the chords with 0.5 after, 
she alternates between these three patterns. So you can either do like me and pick one or switch it up, which of course makes it more interesting. Anyways, number two sounds like this. Slowly. Number three. Slowly. Number four. And slowly. Now for most of the song, we stick to these four patterns. And except for the intro and bridge, the song parts is very alike. So verse 2 is half as long as verse 1, but otherwise play the same. And chorus 1 and 2 is exactly the same. Then lastly, for verse 3, we play the same chords as the other two, but it's slightly longer with like a short outro in the last row. However, other than this, and some chords being strung once, it's pretty much played like verse 1. And then in the bridge, we also have a Jesus 4. And a B flat major 7. And as for the strumming, we still play the same with the right hand, but on these chords we switch on the second end without the carrot. So the transition between G sus4 and G looks like this. Which is why I have the middle finger behind. And then from B flat to B flat major 7. We unbend the index finger, and lastly we play number one again on the last two chords.
So first of all, we can play without the muffling. So pattern one sounds like this. And slowly. And same goes for the other three, which means like this. Number two. And slowly. Number three. And slowly. Number four. And slowly. And then for the chords, we can change to B flats to B flat major seven. And on the bridge, we can replace the fast switching on G sus four and G with the full round of either G or G sus four. And same goes for these parts. We can stay one round on either B flat or B flat major seven. Also, for the other places with half rounds, you can even replace the patterns with a single strum. And lastly, if you want a simplified version on paper, just let me know and I can write it down. So lastly, I just want to apologize for the sound. Of course, I tuned it properly, but the intonation of this uke is just horrible. So this is as good as I can get it for now. And honestly, I was like this close to smashing it, like halfway to the tutorial. But luckily, I got my comb back. But I hope the video helped anyway. And if you're thinking of subscribing, you should know that I will fix it either by fixing this one or saving up for a better.